every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever say. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you.
our sin and darkness whose love is mighty and so much stronger the king of glory the king above all Takes the whole earth with holy thunder and leaves us breathless in awe and wonder. The King of glory, the King above all kings. Sing it now. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place. you've done for me Like the sun in all of his brilliance, the king of glory, the king above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place, would bear my cross. They were 
The morning sun was there The savior of the world Was falling A battle in the cross His blood poured out for us The weight of every curse Upon him One final breath he gave As heaven looked away The sea died for him Battle in the grave, the war on death was waged. Power of hell forever broken. The ground began to shake, the stone was rolled away. His perfect love could not be overcome. Now, desperate is your sting. Our resurrected King has rendered you defeated forever. He is glorified forever. He is lifted high forever. began to shake the stone was rolled away his perfect love might be overcome now death is your sting our resurrected king has rendered you defeated forever he is gone that one more time forever.
And Christ is my firm foundation The rock on which I stand When everything around me is shaking I've never been more glad That I put my faith in Jesus He's never let me He's faithful through generations So why would he fail now? He won't He won't He won't He won't won't. I've still got joy in chaos I've got peace that makes no sense And everything around me in By my own strength That I build my life on Jesus He's never let me down He's faithful through So why would he fail now? He won't He won't He won't fail He won't fail He won't He won't won't. Father, we do thank you that you are a dependable God, one to whom we could look for grace and guidance, and who again and again will give us the wisdom that we need. And I pray that you would renew our sense of your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Welcome, St. Margaret. It's great to see you, and thank you so much for coming. And thank you, Ashton and the band, for leading us in worship. Uh, 
in two weeks' time, we have our carol service. There are cards at the back which you can take away. It's a great opportunity to ask colleagues that you have that in your offices who wouldn't normally come to church to come and join us here at St. Margaret's. I said uh, a week ago, I think, that um, people love coming to a carol service. And on Friday morning, a member of the congregation emailed me and said, 20 people from my office are coming on the carol service, so make sure you've got enough mulled wine. So I definitely we shall have that. And, uh, but I, I encourage you to take those if you would pray uh, for that service. Pray that people hear uh, not only the beautiful music and, uh, and the readings of the scriptures, but something of the love and the call of Jesus will just be made plain in a very gentle but clear way. Two weeks' time. Two weeks? No, three weeks. Yes, two weeks. Of the, goodness, the year's gone. This is rather frightening. 13th of, uh, of December. And now Nike is going to come and read our scriptures for us. I'm reading from Luke 1, verses 11 to 20. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and was gripped with fear. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you and many will rejoice because of his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God, and he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zechariah asked the angel, how can I be sure of this? I am an old man and my wife is well along in years. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not be able to speak until the day this happens, because you did not believe my words, which will come true at their appointed time. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Uh, our service last week was both exciting and surprising, and exciting and surprising to no one more than to me, who thought I knew exactly what was going to happen, uh, because I prayed and I listened to the Spirit and I thought I was online with him, and clearly... God had other ideas. The first thing he did was scrap the sermon. Well, you didn't miss much. I did think it was quite a good sermon, actually, but I shredded it at the end of the service because obviously God had another opinion of it. Um, but we were also suddenly catapulted into a place where we had to be even more open to the Holy Spirit than we usually are. Uh, he brought words through James and through Ollie, uh, and uh, words that reminded us that he wants to be engaged in our lives, to bring healing into our lives, and to restore and develop his image in each of our lives. It rem we were reminded uh, by those words and by what happened that he knows us and he understands our situations. We don't worship a God who is uh, just far off. We worship a God who, by his Spirit, is near us and in us and knows us. We also learned that uh, last week, afresh, I think, that God wants to bless us and encourage us to seek more of his blessing. The numbers who came forward to be prayed with, underlined that for me. 
And if I was being a wild charismatic, which I try and pretend I'm not some of the time, but if I am, I mean, I, I, I am, and if I was to let you know that, what I also felt last week was various strongholds were pulled down. I think the enemy longs to put up strongholds in places where he knows the spirit wants to move. And I think he pulled down strongholds last week very clearly. Some, sometimes there's a, a lack of confidence that God will answer our prayers. Sometimes there's a hesitation uh, to come forward for prayer. Sometimes we're not quite sure that God wants to do something in our lives. God pulled down strongholds last week and wants to continue doing so in our lives. I've said a couple of times, I prayed this week to him, oh, that I, think, I think on the whole, Lord, um, I've dealt with the strongholds, or rather you've dealt with them in my life. And almost immediately into my mind comes something else uh, that he wants to sort out. And I think last week, God was beginning to do the next stage of that in all our lives. It was, without doubt, a surprising time, but an exciting one. And Zechariah, on the day that we've just read about, I was probably more surprised that day than we, even we were uh, last week. It was a big day for Zechariah. He must have woken up that morning thinking, I've been waiting for this day all my life. All the descendants of Aaron were priests in Israel uh, at that time. They all took it in turns to do different things in the temple on a rotor basis uh, throughout the year. Uh, the ultimate privilege for any priest in Israel was to burn incense in the temple. Many of the priests never got that opportunity. Those few that did, it only happened to them once in their lifetime. And that day, uh, Zechariah had been chosen by lot to uh, burn incense in the temple. The incense that rose to signify the prayers of the people who were praying outside and when the incense rose, it was a sign that those prayers were indeed going up to Almighty God. Uh, and then after he'd burned that, the, whoever the priest was would come out and call down God's blessing on all the people who were there. It would have been the greatest day of Zechariah's life. He knew how, how it was going to work out. He'd been rehearsed. He would have learned it from as soon as he became a priest so that if by any chance he was called to do this duty, he would be able to do so. But that day, the liturgy changed. The archangel Gabriel appeared beside him. And in verse 13, we heard the opening words, your prayer has been heard, he said uh, to Zechariah. The prayer that you prayed and your wife Elizabeth has prayed day by day, week by week, year by year, that you would have a child it was one of the great things in Israel at that time to have children. And those who didn't have children, people, were really, people felt very sorry for them. It was almost as though something must have been wrong with them. And they must have been prayed all the more. And the angel said to Zechariah, your prayer has been heard. And the first thing I felt the Lord Jesus wanted to say to each of us today is your prayers have been heard too. Probably only you and he 
knows the prayers that have been most important to you. And he says today, your prayers have been heard. And then there was obviously the conversation we had Nike read to us. But the second thing uh, that Zechariah learned that day was your doubts haven't stopped God fulfilling his plans for you. Zechariah just couldn't believe, given his age and the age of Elizabeth, that the promise of a child was even to be begun to be taken seriously. And in verse 19, we heard that uh, uh, wonderful assurance, I'm Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I've been sent to speak to you and tell you good news, which will come true at the appointed time. You doubted, but your doubts will not have stopped God fulfilling his plans and promises to you. Zechariah must have been in a, a, a vortex of amazement and questions and all the, all the issues that this uh, would have brought up. And Jesus today, by his Spirit, wants to say what Gabriel had said to Zechariah all those years ago. Your prayers have been heard and your doubts won't stop God fulfilling his promise to you. He wants to renew our confidence in him today. He wants to encourage us to continue praying and encourage and reassure us too that God will fulfill for each of us the promise that he's made to you. atmosphere is changing now for the spirit of the Lord is here his evidence is all around that the spirit of the Lord is here the atmosphere is changing now for the spirit of the Lord is here the evidence is all around and that the spirit of the Lord is here overflowing our hearts with your love, your love surround us. And you're the reason we came to encounter your love, your love surround us. We're surrounded by your atmosphere is changing now for the spirit
Father, I pray that uh, for each of us today, uh, that we would know that you, your, you have heard our prayers, that by your Spirit, you will give us that complete reassurance and that encouragement that even when we've doubted and that won't change your promise to us. Just come, I pray by your spirit. Fill each of us afresh. Give us the confidence in you that you long for us to receive. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And all the angels cry, holy is the Lord God, and all the earth return, holy are you. Nothing worth more that could ever come close. Nothing can compare your living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen. Of the sweetest of loves When my heart becomes free And my shame is undone Your presence, Lord Sing Holy Spirit Holy Spirit, you are welcome Come first and fill the atmosphere your glory 
God is what our hearts long for To be overcome by your presence, Lord Your presence, Lord I've tasted and seen I'm the sweetest of loves When my heart becomes free And my shame is undone Only by your presence Sing Holy Spirit Holy Spirit You are welcome Come flood this place and fill Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord, Holy Spirit, you are welcome, come flood this place and fill the atmosphere, your glory, God, is what our hearts By your presence, Lord Only by your presence, Lord I think maybe just a word for someone here Um, Some of us are very aware of just how strong our strongholds can feel Uh, And God says, I am stronger. I really am. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your your presence let us experience the glory of your goodness let us become more aware of your presence let us experience the glory of your goodness let us become the world. 
my soul, Lord, to you surrendered all I am is yours. I'll stand in and I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned in all of the one who gave it all. I'll stand my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh, oh my soul, worship His holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I will worship Your holy name. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, oh, my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I will worship Your holy name. The sun comes up. The sun comes up. It's a new day dawn. It's time to see. Your song again Whatever may pass And whatever lies before me Let me be seen When the evening comes So bless the Lord Bless the Lord, oh my soul Oh, oh, oh my soul Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh my soul, I will worship Your holy name. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. And on that day, when my strength is fading, the end draws near, and my time has come. Still, my soul will sing Your praise. Unending ten thousand years, ten thousand years, and then forevermore. Oh, we bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy. Sing that one 
more time. So bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh, oh, oh my soul, worship His holiness. Sing like never before, and oh. And I worship your holy name. I will worship your holy
Come 